Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Box 12 here, and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God video. And this ain't my video. I'm so fresh. What's up, reshitters? And yes, you are going to be called that from now on. My name is Retit. <coughs> Reshit. And you might be surprised to not hear a 60-year-old virgin. But you were kind of right, because I'm a 15-year-old virgin. And I just got this new microphone. It's absolutely awesome because I can finally make videos talking with you guys um, as I might not have been able to before because my headphone microphone is kind of shat. This microphone is straight in the pooper. And you might have recognized straight off the bat that I have put on this very forced and thick fake British accent to hide my own accent because it's, it's, it's very bad. I speak Danish English and it doesn't really sound that very good. So that's why I kind of put on this accent to go easy on you guys so you don't have to kill yourself before the video's over. I just can't promise anything, okay? So, if you don't want to die, just skip off this video. I just want to take a quick moment to apologize for 230 subscribers. I'm so sorry for letting you sit through all my shitstorms of videos, but it kind of feels awesome anyway. Now, let's get this video started. So, first of all, I'm gonna briefly say I'm not gonna go in-depth with tutorials and ex especially on how to, how do I edit exactly, how do I use special effects in Sony Vegas. I'm not going to do that, because it's going to take a long time. I want to dedicate a special video for that matter, because it's going to take a long time, especially when I am so passionate about this project. I really want to get a larger community um, of Room of the Mad God YouTubers onto the platform, so more people will upload more videos and you guys get more content to watch. Also, this tutorial will apply to any sort of gaming editing that goes into a video. If you want to upload CSGO content, even though Valve committed suicide like two months ago, you're welcome to do that. Also, I really hope that you can see yourself in the purpose of this video, spreading knowledge, getting more people onto the platform and such. So, enough rambling, let's get into the videos. Strap in, and yes, I stole that line from Bo Burnham. Okay, so now we've got the game ready. And I will get this message in the corner, which says Xbox Gaming Overlay, which is what I use to record with. You can also record with OBS. I am not sure how you use the playback feature. I know there is one. I also spoke to someone who had trouble using the feature. Because there was some kind of issue where it kind of doubled and deleted the old footage he, he got when he tried to record it. So, And when I press the Windows key, the one with the window, and G at the same time, and this is the thing I use. I press this button and it records the past 30 seconds I've got. So what you want to do if you want to edit some of these features, you're going to go into uh, this wheel. And you can see, okay, there's just some some light, light features you can change. And here, if you press this button, you will get into more in-depth features. Where you can go and you can change in here, game DVR. There we go. Uh, here you can choose which folder you want to save it to, uh, which of, this is in Danish, it says 30 seconds, I can say 15, 1 minute, 30, 3 minutes, uh, ma maximum recording, as well as sound quality, microphone, video quality, this has to be set to high, because that way you're going to get the best footage out of this. Uh, I find there's kind of, there's a few cons by using this, when you press Windows key and the G key, you got you can't do anything on the screen. So if you gotta stand somewhere safe, if you're in the middle of a guard wall or something, you you're gonna die. You can't do shit. Also, you can use uh, GeForce Experience. I'm not sure whether or not it use it it works in this because I've tried plenty of times. It's Alt F10, but it doesn't work. It says it doesn't support this game format. I'm not sure if you go full screen, it kind of it looks shit. That's why I don't play full screen. Nah, still doesn't support it. I'm not. If you find a way to make GeForce Experience work in Room of the Mad God, I would suggest you do that because that's much better than this uh, Xbox gaming overlay. But it works and it puts out the quality I want for my videos. You can also, if you press uh, the Windows key and G, you can press up uh, record from now and it will just start recording. I can just uh, quickly make a recording, press this button there. And there should appear this bar in the top right corner where I can just, okay, I'm gonna play on my wizard. And I go in close and it will record and when I'm done I'll press this button and it will save in your videos folder. 
So I find this to be the easiest option for me. This might not be the easiest option for you. I would uh, suggest you should uh, kind of experiment with what works with you. So I will split this part of the video into two sections. There will be thumbnail editing and video editing. I will first touch on video editing. And what I use to edit with is Sony Vegas Pro 14. I have the 15 version, but I find it kind of confusing, and that's why I use the Pro 14. The Pro 14 uh, has a lot of different features, as much as the 15 has. I think it's just a layout uh, remake. Also, I have the Sapphire plugin, which gives me all those plugins. All plugins with an S in front of means it's from the Sapphire plugin, so I have a lot of extra editing material so I can edit in different ways. Also in media generators I have a lot of pre-edited samples I can use in videos for editing, doing special stuff. Also these effects are very useful. If you want to get Sony Vegas Pro 14 you have to crack it if you don't want to pay because it's not worth paying for this uh, for this software. It's definitely not worth. You can crack it easily without having to turn off your virus program or antivirus. If you have to, if you find a video where you have to turn it off, I would suggest uh, you go look somewhere else for a tutorial on how to download the program or else uh, I will leave a link in the description to how you get this program. As well as the Sapphire plugin. The Sapphire plugin is a little more tricky. You have to turn off your antivirus to get it. Uh, also, the Sapphire costs a lot of money. I think it's 1,000 euro for the new package. It's very expensive. So you have to crack that as well. Now, the thumbnail creation. What I use is Adobe Photoshop, which you might know as the primary use when you have to create thumbnails, as well as just editing pictures. Uh, the, first, the first thing I do when I create a thumbnail is I, of course, create a new subject file. And I put it to 1280 times 720 which is the format a YouTube thumbnail is. And you just pop it open and here you have your white sheet and you can just put in whatever you want. I mean if I want a gradient for example I just put this across there, there I have a gradient. And I don't want to make it say tutorial for example. With this font I don't care about this font right now and I can just put it up. I can add some effects afterwards. This is pretty much the process I go through whenever I have to create a new video. Um, I will do another video on how to make these text effects and how to make uh, things from Realmai, like items and things from in-game to appear in your thumbnail much higher quality than it is. Because if you just copy-paste it from Realmai, it will look very bad because the format is way too low. It's like 200 times 200 pixels and that's nothing. Also, you might want to know how to get Adobe Photoshop. The only way uh, that's actually reasonable to get Photoshop is to crack it, once again. you It's not worth paying for this program. You get the full version um, just by cracking it. I will leave a link in the description on how to crack it as well. Um, and when you have the Photoshop downloaded, I guarantee you there will be no viruses. I will try to find the best suited video for this purpose, so you guys don't run into any difficulties when you try to download this program. Also, if you play on Mac, please leave. I mean, why are you even here? No, but for real, if you play on Mac, I don't know why you would do that, but <laughs> if you do, you can use the QuickTime player to record your screen with. Um, it doesn't have playback feature, and you can't download GeForce Experience because it's only for Windows. But it's the only way of recording, so if you really want to do that. Uh, also, you can also crack Photoshop on Mac. I will also leave a link for that in the description. So guys, that was it for this video. I really hoped you enjoyed and actually found this helpful. Leave all your feedback in the comments. I read every single one. Just tell me if there's something you need, something you want, a video idea. Just suggest them down below. Also, I'm also I might make some dungeon guides in the future, not the ones that Bikiri Box already have covered, but something else, something new, uh, that you might enjoy, because I actually have some experience in this game, and I really want to share it with you guys. Also, take this video with a grain of salt. This is, after all, my first tutorial, so as I said earlier, just leave all your feedback in the comments. It really helps me. What what can I do with the microphone? I know it has been a little weird, because. 
I keep moving away from the microphone. It, it's just a very bad habit. And I will try to fix it in the next upcoming videos uh, where I do commentary. Alright guys, so that was it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Be on the lookout for whenever I post my next video, which will probably be soon. Alright, see ya.